a Business Podcast that not only gives you daily business lessons, but also gives you the resources you need to build the business you want. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. Speaking of resources, make sure you check out our free course. It's a full seven-part video course that you can just grab for free over at 100mba.net slash free hyphen course. It's our most popular course, The Five Steps of Idea Validation in the Real World. Make sure you nail your business idea, your product idea, your service idea, and you can do it for free with our free course and workbook as well. Today's lesson is a must-read lesson. In our must-read lessons, I share with you a book that I've read that has greatly influenced me as an entrepreneur, has helped my business in some way or fashion. I share with you my takeaways from the book as well as why you should read it. And today's must-read is a book you probably never heard of before, but I'm sure you heard of the author. The book is called Notes from a Friend by Anthony Robbins, also known as Tony Robbins. Now, Tony Robbins has a lot of best-selling books, Uh, The three major bestsellers he has is Ultimate Power, Awaken the Giant Within, and Money, Master the Game. Now, not only are these three best-selling books, but they're also very large books that may take some time to get through. But the book I'm talking about today, Notes from a Friend, is actually quite small. It's actually less than 100 pages, 91 pages to be exact. And the reason why I want to share with you this book is because it's a good short summation of the things that Tony really teaches well. In this book, he shares some really valuable lessons in improving yourself, the leader of your business, as well as your mindset when it comes to success. I'm going to talk about all the details and why I love this little book so much. I can't wait to get into it. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. HostGator is our website hosting provider. We love them. We use them for the $100 MBA and Webinar Ninja. They are always there to help you out with their 24-7 live support via chat, phone, and email. Their one-click WordPress installs, their easy website builder, their design services, their marketing services. And best of all, their service is fantastic without breaking the bank. And especially now that they're hooking you guys all up with a great discount. 25% off hosting when you use promo code OMARHOOKUP. So go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP. Anthony Robbins starts out in his book by getting in front of the fact that he knows that many people do not read his books because they're quite long. Ultimate Power, Awakening the Giant Within, and Money, Master the Game are all more than 400 pages. And he says at the start of the book, the reason why he wrote this book in short form is because he wants to contribute and he wants to be able to help people that just don't have the time or maybe 400 pages is just too intimidating for them. So right off the bat, I fell in love with this book because of Tony's honesty at the start. And I also love this book because it is small and you can get through it in one sitting. You can get through it in a plane ride. It's 91 pages. And there's something special about going through a body of work or going through a book in one sitting. It has a lot more of an effect than reading a book over several sittings. So this is probably my number one reason why I love this book is because obviously the information is great. It can really help you out. But because of the nature of the small size, it allows you to really get a concentrated understanding of what to do and how to improve your life and your business in one shot. One of the things that Tony Robbins does really well, and especially in this book, is that he recognizes as human beings, we have feelings and feelings are very powerful and they can really change our state of mind. They can change our actions. This is not some kind of woo stuff. How many times have you been in a situation where you feel like the circumstances around you have more control of your life than yourself? That is a feeling you're going through, whether that's overwhelm or depression. And what Tony's really good at is recognizing what those things are, what those feelings are, so you are aware of it and that way you can take control. You can take control of the way you feel about certain things and be able to take different action. As an entrepreneur, you will have ups and downs. Sometimes you're going to feel really down and you're going to want to get out of that slump. You may feel like quitting. If you don't have the emotional intelligence to get out of it and to keep moving forward, you're going to be in big trouble. Your business will be in big trouble. And reading a book that's 91 pages can really make or break that situation. It'll arm you with the information on how to take control in those situations. So Tony breaks up this book into lessons. I'm going to read you through some lessons in the book. Lesson one is feeling overwhelmed and how to turn it around. Then he moves on and talks about there are no failures. Then he talks about making decisions, building beliefs. What you see is what you get and questions are the answer. 
And one of my favorite chapters is chapter 10, lesson 10, ready, set, goal, how to set goals so you can build your future. I'm going to take a little side trip here and give you a side story of why I read this book, how did I pick it up, and how it affected me. So I read this book back in 2003, and I was in this phase where I was just picking up as many books as possible where I can learn about business, about self-development, about just becoming, you know, better. At the time, I was exploring building some businesses online as well as some physical businesses. And to be frank, I picked up this book because I really actually wanted to read Unleash the Power Within. I saw it in the bookstore, but then I saw this book next to it. It was so thin. I was like, "Mm, let me start with this book first. And in fact, after I read this book, I picked up Unleash the Power Within and read it because I was so intrigued about how much I can learn from Tony Robbins. Now, let me let you know that when I picked up this book, I was skeptical because I grew up in the 80s and Tony Robbins owned the airways when it came to infomercials. And, you know, he has this reputation of being this motivational speaker and maybe uh, some people think he's full of hot air. But then I started to look at his work and how many people he's affected and how many organizations he's affected and working with presidents in the military and sports teams. And I realized, you know, he must be doing something right. And maybe I wasn't giving him a fair shot. So this book really changed my opinion of Tony Robbins back in 2003. And I realized, you know, this guy's really a master when it comes to the psychology of success. And you guys know me. I'm a very practical person. I'm all about the doing, but mindset is important along the way. So when I picked up and read this book, it really helped me get a little more clarity about how to be successful or why I want to be successful in business or in life. It was a great introduction to how to have the right mindset when it comes to these areas. Tony's actually a very good writer, and it's an easy read. It's not very convoluted, he's very direct, and he shares a lot of great stories along the way in his books. Now, one of my favorite chapters in the book I mentioned is Lesson 10, Ready, Set, Goal, How to Set Your Goals or Goal Settings. Some people in the entrepreneurial space don't believe in setting goals. They feel like setting goals kind of bounds you, but I'm of the opinion that you can't help it. You are going to set goals. Even by saying you're not setting a goal, you're going to set a goal subconsciously. You're going to do something, right? You're going to say, I want to launch a product. That's a goal. All I'm saying is that put a little more definition to that goal. Put some steps in there so it's easy to follow through. And that's what Tony kind of talks about in this lesson. Talks about the importance of mapping out your goals so you know what you're striving for. Make sure that you achieve a goal before you move on to the next goal. He uses this metaphor. Imagine that you're playing soccer and every time you shoot towards the goal, the goal would move you'll never score, right? So that's a great metaphor of showing you that you got to score first, then you can move the goal. Also, he makes this really strong point about when you set goals and achieve them, it really helps build your confidence as an entrepreneur and as a person in general. We can't help but look at our history and judge ourselves. By having a few wins that we can recognize from the past, it helps us feel, yes, I can do the next thing, the next goal, because I've done it before. I've achieved a goal before. So that's a really good reminder that he outlines in the book. Guys, there's so much more I want to share from this really concise book, but there's so much in it. I got one more thing I want to share with you when it comes to notes from a friend. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, HostGator. If you're looking to launch a new website, if somebody's creating a website for you, if you're creating one on WordPress, if you have an existing website but want a new hosting solution, you really should check out HostGator. HostGator is our hosting provider. We use it for the $100 MBA. We use it for Webinar Ninja. And we love them because their support is fantastic. When it comes to your website, you need to make sure you have somebody you can call upon any time of day, any day of the week. HostGator's got 24-7 live support via phone, chat, and email. Plus, they can help you out with any other kind of service, whether it's design services or marketing services. You want to register new domains, you can do it through HostGator as well. And best of all, they do it all without breaking the bank. And they're giving a special discount to you as a listener to the $100 MBA show. All you got to do is go to HostGator.com and enter promo code OMARHOOKUP to save 25% off hosting. Again, to save 25% off hosting with HostGator, go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP. One of my favorite things about this book, Notes from a Friend, is that it's a great little book that you can go back to every so often. So when I picked up this book from my bookshelf when I was preparing for this must-read episode... I was reminded of all the lessons that I learned when I read the book the first time. And some of them are very simple, but we forget sometimes. You forget how to approach certain issues or problems. And in fact, he has some really great questions you can ask yourself when you're having an issue or problem. And it's good just to have a bookmark in that page so you can refer to it anytime you're making a decision or you're in a rut. 
And just to give you an example, here are a few questions you can ask yourself when you have a problem. This is straight from the book. What is great about this problem? What is not perfect yet? What am I willing to no longer do in order to make it the way I want it? How can I enjoy the process while I do what is necessary to make it in the way I want it? As you can see, these questions are very action-oriented. They're very problem-solving oriented. And it makes things okay. It makes it like, okay, we have issues, we have a problem, but we can turn it around. I love that about this book. All right, guys, that wraps up this lesson. I hope you pick up Notes from a Friend by Anthony Robbins, a diamond in the rough, probably a book you've never heard of before, but one that really has helped me along the way. Guys, I want to thank you all for listening to The $100 MBA Show. I also want to thank you guys for leaving us iTunes ratings and reviews. It means a whole lot to us when we read these reviews. Nicole and I read every single one of them. It really helps us improve the show. It also lets us uh, get a little bit more exposure because every time you leave an iTunes rating and a review, iTunes rewards us by ranking us higher on the iTunes list. Here's a great review from DJ Sunny. A fantastic, consistent, exciting community. Five stars. Let me make it clear. The $100 MBA show is a freebie with $50,000 of content. It's incredible to have an objective resource with incredible applicable lessons. Mr. Omar, you are the true definition of a teach. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Carrie, for that amazing review. Thank you so much. That really means so much to me. And thank you all for listening to the show, subscribing to the show, and leaving us amazing reviews. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. You know, every two weeks, I do a must-read episode. We must have done over 25, 30 must-read episodes on The $100 MBA Show. And it reminds me how much books have influenced me as an entrepreneur. Some of these books I've read years ago. This book today I read over 10 years ago. Some of the books I've read, you know, weeks ago. But the funny thing is, is sometimes when I go back and read a couple chapters from a book I read maybe 10 years ago or five years ago, it seems like a completely different book because I'm a different person now. And you see different insights you just didn't see before because you were in a different place in life. You were in a different state of mind. You had different ambitions, different focuses. So I encourage you sometime this week to read a chapter or two from a book that you read maybe two or three years ago. See how it affects you. See how you can find different learnings that you didn't find before. I know some things that I read from Notes of a Friend back in 2003 probably went over my head. I know if I revisit them now, they would have a lot of value in my life and in my business. All right, guys, I hope that helps, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode. I'll see you then. Take care.